Hello, it is Wednesday, November 1st, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Wednesday crossword. It's a new month. Welcome to November. Uh, and we're going to be solving a midweek, mid-difficulty puzzle. And um, ideally, we're going to be doing it pretty quickly. A um, Just a, a series of events this morning has meant I am... Uh, starting this recording very late. I have very little time to get it done. So uh, there might be a bit of a reprise of yesterday's um, sped up solve. Uh, I'm not going to be editing it. Well, I hope I'm not going to be editing out any drilling sounds. It doesn't don't seem to be any so far, but um, but I will be trying to solve it quickly. So this, this quick solve has been brought to us by Henrik Koskinen, David Innes, Josh Lucas, and as always, the indomitable Showmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They are, of course, sustaining this channel, bringing us this series. I'm very grateful to them for that. And thank you to everybody who's a patron of the channel as we kick off this, this new month of Patreon rewards. Um, that means a new bonus puzzle coming soon. Look out for that. Um, you can join the Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash daily solve or via a link in the description field, of course, for all of the bonus videos and the official mug for benefactors. Um, thanks, of course. Also, if you've subscribed to the channel or liked the videos, please do consider one or both of those things. And finally, there's the Daily Solve Discord chat server, which can be joined via a description field link. It's a nice, friendly community. Check it out. All right, let's get on to the puzzle. This is a um, debut construction by Steve Wire. So welcome to him. We'll see what he has in store uh, for this themed Wednesday puzzle. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. Let's start solving and uh, see if I can get this done in a reasonable amount of time. What a cat's meow might mean. Now, my very first thought is I'm hungry, which does look like it fits. So let's just see if we can confirm or deny. That's a bit of a guess. Prayer leader, probably an imam in Islam. And then tamale dough would be, I think, masa. Um, I've used this before to, uh, you know, it's a, I think it's a, a corn flour associated with Mexican cuisine often. Okay, rustic refuges could be, refuges could be um, rustic huts, I guess. Storage uses or storage, I'm not sure what that one is. Photographer Golden, Nan Golden is a, is a photographer of note. Procedural flaw could be a, a glitch. I was going to say gaff. That doesn't fit. Glitch, maybe. Something went wrong in a procedure, a bit of a glitch. Elmo's Turquoise Amiga. So this will be a Sesame Street Muppet, presumably. I don't think I know who this, what this character is. Life of Pi novelist Martel. Not sure. A peak in the Hawaiian Emperor Seamount change. Mauna Loa. There we go. Okay, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know it was part of the Hawaiian Emperor Seamount chain, but I do, I, you know, I'm broadly aware of Mauna Loa as a peak. So there we go. Okay. So, oh, storage unit. Storage unit. Of course, you might keep some things in storage in a storage unit. And what Odysseus was bound to during, bound to during the siren's song, the mast. Right. He had his, he had his crew bind him to the mast so he could listen to the siren's song without being drawn to them. Actor Sean, here's a thematic clue we can tell because it's italicized. Actor Sean does some things that aren't nice. So Aston, I think I think Aston is probably the official acting Sean of the New York Times crossword, but I don't know that that pops up enough to justify the official designation. If there were one, he'd be it. Um, anyway, he does some things that aren't nice. I wonder Aston isn't... I want to anagram this. A U N Aston isn't. I don't know. I'm not. Sure. I'm not sure. I'm on the right track with that. Okay. Um, oh, Jan Martel. That sort of sounds familiar. Turner with many Grammys. Yes, Tina Turner. There we go. I think this is Jan Martel. That actually sounds familiar now that I say it aloud. So, oh, Rosita. Is that is that a character? That would work with my isn't thought. Rosita, Rosina, Rosita, role play. Yes, to role play is to act. There we go. Okay. So some remote batteries. So the very thin cylindrical batteries are triple A. So you might use them in a television remote, for instance. Silent film star Bara didn't want to leave us. Right. Okay. So Theta Bara was a famous silent film star. So... 
Um, now this looks, yeah, I think, I think there is something where we're going to be repeating these letters in different orders. So theta, theta had, I don't know. I think, I think that's the right basic direction. Wild horses couldn't drag them away, presumably. Hmm, not sure what that is. Trailblazers organization. I think this is a basketball team. So the NBA, probably. Um, starchless as some foods. No, no rice. I don't, I don't know. 1957's Attack of the Crab Monsters, for one. Sounds like a B movie. I've not seen it nor heard of it, but that's what it certainly sounds like. Meditation sounds, ohms, so the chant ohm, uh, rough, I'm not sure. Alternative to Reebok, so uh, with the capital letter, this is not the animal, but rather the shoe brand. So uh, Avia, I think, is another shoe brand. I'm not 100% certain that's right. Let's check the crosses. Right, okay. So Aston isn't a saint. There we go. Right. Okay. So how does this work exactly? Here we have Aston at the end and we've got it at the beginning. Oh, no, no. It, it, I see. It's, it is what I thought. It is just three anagrams of Aston. Well, it's Aston and then two anagrams of it. Okay, great. So that means I think we can then apply that here. So theta had, so we need an E and a T, had I don't know which way it goes, actually. Okay, we'll have to come back to it. Feature of some Indian music. So some Indian music has a sort of, um, there's a there's a, a, a Indian music form called raga. So could have a, could have a, a raga component, maybe. Um, let's look at the crosses there. Hobbit Frodo's cloaking device was his ring, his magical ring that made him invisible. And that was the source of great power. Test version could be, a, oops, a beta test of software before it's um, in full release. Oh, no carb, no carbohydrate. Of course, that's starchless. I don't, I don't know why that didn't come to mind for me. Okay, and a, a rough fabric perhaps could be a coarse fabric. Um, Sierra runners are I'm not sure what that. Oh, Max. Ma I think I think Sierra is one of the names of the Mac operating is a version name of the Mac operating system. Okay, I think that's the answer. So what could wild horses not drag away? I don't know. Bothers, if something bothers someone, it ails you maybe? No, 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 because it needs to be an E or a T here. Bothers. And well, it's gonna be a T, which means this will be an E. Uh, wild horses couldn't drag them away, presumably. Tamers? Don't quite get that. Vintage Camaro owners boast. Oh, I think I know what this is. I don't know what this designates exactly, but I've I've come across the uh, I, presumably acronym IROC for um, applied to some you know high performance Camaro cars. Uh, so I think the idea here is that a Camaro owner would say IROC, and then uh, you know the pun is that there. Declaring that about themselves, but also it's the sort of designation of their vehicle. Government health agency could be the CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And then Theta had... Silent Film Star Bar didn't want to leave us. Theta had... Feels that this is... I'm doing something wrong here. I don't know. Hmm bothers. Yeah, this doesn't look good either. It bothers. Oh, a do's. It's a whole bother. It's a whole a do maybe? Theta hated. Oh no, it's not had. It's hated. I, I completely miss. Uh, that was a bad guess. Sorry about that. Theta hated death. Right. Wow. Okay. Okay, to sync up is to align the Brandon Blank story, 1998 documentary. I don't know. Handmade sign at a stadium. Hi, mom, maybe. Classic thing people write on a sign. Uh, blank day, May 1st in Hawaii. It must be lay day. So referring to the flower garlands associated with Hawaii. Um, carpe diem, as they say, seize the day. 
Firm refusal, some sort of no, I would think. Big no? One of five in Yahtzee. So there must be five dice in Yahtzee, so one of them would be a die. I still don't know who that's Brandon is. Uh, artist Edouard mistakenly proposed 11 o'clock. Uh, Manet, Edouard Manet. So, oh, so it'll end with 10 a.m., which is an anagram of Manet. So there we go. Uh, Manet meant 11 o'clock. There we go. Very good. This does look like tamers up here, these horse people. I don't quite get that. Wild horse horses couldn't drag tamers away. I'm sure there's a very simple way to read that, but I'm not quite getting it. Heady we weapon wielded by Wonder Woman. A tiara? Is that a weapon? I get why it's heady, because you wear a tiara on your head. Maybe hers is a weapon in a way that I don't, I don't understand. Um, an artist might blow it. Might blow glass. You could... You could um, you know, create works of glass, blow glass. Forrest uh, Gump is a film and the character of the same name. Uh, if you misled someone, you lied to them. And here we have California's Muir Woods National Monument, named for the naturalist John Muir. Underground Organization of New York would be the MTA, the Metropolitan Transit Authority, I think, uh, that runs public public transport. Uh, TV detective Bosch's former organization. I've never seen this, but it certainly looks like the LAPD. There might be another PD this could be, but I bet it's LA. Six Flags ride named for a powerful animal. I do not know, but let's jump up here because we've got this contained area that we need to solve. Hum monotonously is to thrum. That's a kind of monotonous hum sound. Spotted scavenger could be a hyena. Printer brand, um, Epson is a manufacturer of peripherals such as printers. And what's the point? Uh, what's the point? The, I think the answer to this might simply be a dot. But let's look at these little shots of hypos. So, right, this is referring to a hypodermic needle. Okay, some remote batteries are double A's, not triple A. So I was thinking, even though this is a plural clue, I was thinking triple A as a sort of singular would still work because you're broadly referring to AAA as a descriptor of batteries. But nope, here we're looking for plural double A's. So fair enough. Okay. A bit of a break might be a bit of a rest. Um, just a pause. And um, touch, to touch something, I'm not sure. Move, you could be emotionally moved by something. It could touch you. Various possibilities there. Sites for some docks. Could be ORs for operating rooms, maybe? Dynamite K-pop group. Well, I don't know the song, but I certainly have heard of BTS, a K-pop group. So there we go. Uh, lunchtime tryst. A, a nooner, I guess? Uh, that would allow this to be ORs, operating room. This is plural. And entities holding property could be trusts, maybe. Property could be held in trust. Cut off pants is a uh, trow, which is, um, I suppose, slang or shortened form of trousers. So it's literally cut off from the, the full word. Here we have tabula rasa, literally blank slate, um, used often metaphorically. Ah, right. Here we have fictional lawyer Perry cries, I give. Um, Perry Mason is the, is the fictional lawyer, right? So Mason... Uh, oh, it must be an M. Mason moans. Uh, oh, I don't know. I can't see it. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, differentiate. To differentiate something would be to set it apart. Oh, right. Four, 1545 treatise whose rearranged letters aptly suggest 1726, 44, and 59 across. Interesting. What is this? So R's could be in art, uh, let's see. Were 38 down served for short gump? Where did he serve? Oh, Nam, I guess Vietnam. So uh, the Vietnam War and the Nam used it as a shortened form of that often. Manilow's hottest spot north of Havana informally. Uh, the Copa, the Copacabana, the, the club from the song, the same name. Uh, online zine could be an e-mag, which is not... Certainly not a thing I've, anyone, I've ever heard anyone refer to. I think probably outside of the 
crossword, or maybe after about the year 1997, um, when when this sort of thing was maybe still being used. Uh, really, has the E words have declined in the New York Times crossword, but they still still there every once in a while. Not a fan. Hand over to hand over territory, for instance, could be to cede it. Swear to mend things is darn. So here we just have a sort of a, a double cryptic definition in the sense that um, a darn is kind of a very light swear. You say, oh, darn, but also to mend things such as socks is to darn them. So there we have it. Uh, Como esta usted? So this would be asking um, how you're doing in the formal form in Spanish. And then ars magna, right. Oh, Interesting who's rearranged letters. Oh, because, because, oh, I see, sorry. Because Ars Magna itself is an, is an anagram of anagrams. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so those act, aptly suggest, suggest these answers, which are anagrams. All right, great. Let's finish off the puzzle. I am running out of time. Um, let's see. Six Flags Ride named for a powerful animal. Why do I not see what this is? I don't know. Within. If you're within a group, you're amid it. Bunyan's ox or Hoggett's pig. I do not know what this is referring to. I. Bunyan's ox or Hoggett's pig. Is Hoggett the farmer from Babe? Is this Babe? And then is this Paul Bunyan? Did he have an ox named Babe? That sounds vaguely familiar. I'm not sure, but let's check the crosses. Touch. So if something, if, if one plot of land touches another, it abuts it, for instance. Um, applications of something are uses of it. Peninsula south of the Pyrenees, that would be the Iberian Peninsula containing uh, Spain and Portugal. Um, here we have Explorer from 63 across, Explorer from Iberia. Um De Soto? Uh, is it De Soto? Six Flags Ride. Oh, Six Flags Ride named for a powerful animal. El Toro, the bull. Okay, I don't know. Never been to Six Flags, but that must be the answer there. Minor Fault would be a knit, as in you pick a knit. There we go. This is going to be De Soto. And Long March Leader, right. Okay, so here's Mao, Mao Zedong. So um, that is the solution. <laughs> There we go. That was the Wednesday crossword, midweek, mid-difficulty crossword. I think that was that was probably that. And um, a very nice uh, anagrammed theme, rearranging Ars Magna into anagrams, which then applies to all four of these theme clues. So uh, Aston isn't a saint. Theta hated death. Um, Man- Mane meant uh, 10 a.m., and finally, Mason moans, no moss. Right, we never saw this one. No moss, so no more. Uh, there we go. So he's he's crying uncle, essentially. Very good. That was uh, a very nice debut puzzle. Good theme, and uh, it's fun to sort of stumble on it early on. Uh, I think it was helpful having solved <laughs> enough New York Times crosswords to get Sean Astin immediately from, from actor Sean, because it does come up so often. Although maybe I already had it made. I can't remember. I might have had some of it filled in. Um, in any case, there we go. That was the Wednesday crossword. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and hopefully hopefully tomorrow's not quite as um, as rushed. But uh, but yeah, that, sh- that should be the case. Do join me then and find out. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Wednesday. Take care. Mm-hmm.